Thank you. Hello, one and all. Good to have you with us on Red Barn Radio. I'm Brad Becker. We are celebrating the 20th season of Red Barn Radio, and tonight we welcome you to show number 754. Wow. Yeah. Great number. <clears throat> Jerry Catherine Howell has been writing and performing as a solo artist and collaborating with Kentucky musicians for over 15 years. In 2007, she won second place in the Flat Rock Music Festival Songwriters Contest for the title track of her first album, Branch to Branch. Fast forward 10 years, Jerry Catherine received Fulbright Grant with the U.S. Department of State and performed and lectured throughout San Carlos, Costa Rica with a fellow named Nat Colton, <laughs> who is also with us here this evening on stage with Jerry Catherine. In June of this year, Jerry Catherine and Nat released their debut album, Holding On. They'll be playing tunes from that album this evening. Welcome Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton to the Red Barn stage. Nice to have you here, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. This is a song from that album called Feel So. Ready? Ready. Thank you. 
Good evening, and welcome to Red Barn Radio. Wherever in the world you're listening, welcome to Roots Music Southern Style. Thanks to WEKU, Red Barn Radio's official radio partner, NPR for Central and Eastern Kentucky. Listen online at WEKU.org. Red Barn Radio is supported by Visit Lex, Lexington, Kentucky's Convention and Visitors Bureau. More information on what Lexington has to offer is at visitlex.com. LexArts, Lexington, Kentucky's premier cultural development, advocacy, and fundraising organization, working for the development of a strong and vibrant arts community as a means of enhancing the quality of life in Central Kentucky. Follow Red Barn Radio on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Here's the host of Red Barn Radio to tell us more about tonight's performers. Tonight on Red Barn Radio, Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton, an Americana folk singer-songwriter duo based in Frankfort, Kentucky. These players will really win you over with their beautiful harmonies and thoughtful songwriting. Jerry Catherine and Nat each wrote five of the tunes comprising their debut album, Holding On, lyrical stories from their journeys around the world with sounds rooted in their Kentucky home. Welcome back, Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton to the Red Barn stage. Thank you all for having us. We're happy to be here. And we, we thought we'd start by tuning the guitar. <laughs> Normally it's, it's me. One of my favorite songs. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Um, but the song that we are working up toward playing is um, the title track to our debut album. It's called Holding On. It's a song that I wrote. Um, maybe five years, four years ago, something like that, um, over, over time, and uh, anyway. It's about growing up, I think. Something like or that. Or changing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, change is a theme in a lot of our songs. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, holding on. I've seen it in your face of late And I know it by your tone You think you're walking this alone As long as I can breathe in my 
It's a balance that we've worn tonight and day. It's a fever of this love that makes us stay. It's a balance that we've worn tonight and day. It's a We're going to play Space of Quiet next. Space of Quiet. Yeah, this is a song that I wrote. Um, I, I was in this really weird place in my life. I had just graduated from college and was about to go on to something else, some other big thing. I think I, think I was going to Costa Rica next. I was moving to Costa Rica for a year. And I was in this space of like, unlearning or changing kind of who I was as a student and dipping my toe in what it would be like to potentially never go back to school again, although that's not true now, but um, it felt like a really strange and new space to be in. And I told myself that I wanted to really recommit to songwriting and to make that be a huge central piece of my life because I let it go for so many years when I was um, studying really hard. Uh, so this is a song kind of about me reclaiming that space, but also in hoping, hoping to inspire others to claim that space for themselves, that, that creativity comes to you or comes to me when I really slow down and pay attention and give myself that space to... to um, to let my creativity come out. So this is Space of Quiet. Your turn now. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Since I wrote a song Been down many roads since then 
racing around again. Screaming out my name Listen now and Don't be afraid To make I've got no excuses anymore Just me and my thoughts This guitar Time is on my side mm, In that space of quiet I hear it screaming out my name Listen now And don't be afraid to make Where would you go to be inspired? Where would you go to get wise? Well, me, I'd get ready to sit right here. Listen and look and love being there. Mm, in that space of quiet, we'll hear Screaming out our names Listen now Don't be afraid To make To make To make mm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really, um, really inspired by other artists and not just musicians and songwriters, but um, as I was singing that song, I was just thinking about all of the folks around me and all the creative work and hard work that goes into putting on Red Barn Radio and um, just how thankful I am to be in this space with you all. So. Thank you. It's very special. Eastern Blue, huh? So we we often, well, you know, before this album, we didn't really have a whole lot of songs about birds, and then it was like Boom. the past five years we've been writing songs greatly inspired by birds, our feathered friends, and... Um, Eastern Blue is a song that Nat wrote while I was away. I was out of the country, and I think it was a little bit about missing me, maybe, <laughs> and some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, maybe like a short story on um, codependence to a certain extent, <laughs> and me grappling with the um, yeah insecurities and um, our relationship dynamics and many other things but at the same time there are all these natural phenomena going on so i'm going to dedicate this also to nor at the kentucky state nature preserves because i met her officially the other night and um and that office does a lot of really wonderful work in our state to preserve uh, natural lands and um, anyway nor's really into birds i found out so cool but yeah so it's about all those complicated relationship things but through birds yeah yeah so but also through humans. <laughs>
letters all the way and through the darkness i'll find a home for us to stay sing little bluebird your time is gone and when that eastern sunrise is over me i feel your trust in you and I trust in change fear of the great unknown living life so comfortable yet insecure when I'm alone just what they say a cherry breaks in the ashes fall from the draw with open arms As death comes crashing down it litters all the way and through the chaos I will find a home for us to stay again sing little bluebird your time is coming trust in you and I trust in change fear of the great unknown living life so comfortable it insecure when I'm alone Eastern Blue Remix. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's always different. <laughs> so, um, to keep with the theme somewhat, I'm greatly inspired by our surroundings here in Kentucky and um, where I live, which is in Frankfurt. Nat lives in Frankfurt, too. And I think I can speak for both of us to say that the all the ecological interactions around us and our interdependence and interconnections with them with more than humans is greatly inspiring to our art making and you know sometimes in really happy positive ways sometimes in really serious ways sometimes in very sad ways but this song came about because i was i had i grew up on a farm in franklin county and it was such a special place to me. And then Nat and I moved away, and then we decided that when we came back to the United States that we wanted to um, fix up a home that was on my parents' 
farm and live there. And so that's where we lived for two years. And so that was a really beautiful experience for me to be back on my family farm where I grew up. And one day I went out walking and came upon several dead animals as I was walking on the farm. And that was something that I had forgotten about living much more in touch with the natural world was how much death was around you um, and how in your face it was. And I got back to our house and I immediately sketched this out in a journal and it was just these, these critters and it was a way for me to kind of process what I had just experienced and what it meant to me. And then that, that journal sketch became this song and this song is called Death. Died in the honeysuckle bush from old age Resting on the branches doesn't hear me anymore Calling it by name Blue Jay And strong brown hair jumped in the old watering well for a drink Floating on the top now She picks him up and lays him down to rest Calling it by name Strong Hair Thank you for your time with us Full of victory and love Shaping the world around us I'm sure we didn't make it easy for you to just be and five lavender chicks getting used to your new feet scratching pig scattered in the field now I saved a feather to remember calling you by name lavender chicks and friendly horse you've been a since I was born, you took a fall Legging on your side now One last hug around your neck Calling you by name, friendly horse Thank you for your time with us Full of victory and love Shaping the world around us I'm sure we didn't to come out Swaying in the breeze forever wrapped inside its wings Thank you for your time with us full of victory and love shaping the world around us I'm sure we did Be, but you'll live on in memory until we forget and we'll do it all again big blue jay dad in the honeysuckle bush We're with Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton on Red Barn Radio tonight. It's great to have you guys here with us. It's great to be here. Yeah. 
Yeah, and um, I, I wondered, uh, Nat, before we get too far away from it, I wonder if you wouldn't mind talking a little bit about uh, Holding On, which is the, sure. the title track for uh, the new CD that you guys did very much together, five songs a piece. Could you talk a little bit about Holding On? Yeah. That tune? Um, Holding On was a song that I wrote in a kind of transitional point in my life. Um, and it was... You know, I, I think at one point I claimed that it was a song written in solidarity with with other people, but but really most of my music is introspective and in some way an, ex, an expression or like me me filtering my own um, or processing my own emotions or or mental thoughts or um, what's going on in the world around me. And that song in particular, I think, was kind of a calling out to my my actual brother, my biological brother and um, was going through I was actually living in Lexington at the time and needing to part ways and moving on and going separate ways uh, with my brother and that was a fairly emotional time uh, because we grew up as best friends um, but it's also about other things I suppose um, I would have to think about the lyrics more <laughs> but hmm. but that's the big thing for me that was the big change that was happening in my life when I wrote that song. Um, and I believe I, f I finished that song or wrote most of it living in a friend's um, house in Owen County, just beyond the Franklin County line um, without electricity or running water. And so I spent a lot of time, mm -hmm. even more time than normal thinking. So that was in uh, maybe 2000. 14 or 15, something like that. Hmm. Wow. Well, those are big changes. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys talking about singing about changes, writing about changes, that's a, that's a huge one. Different, you know, changing relationship with family members and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Thanks. I was You're welcome. Curious to know about that. Um, so the two of you could love to hear you sort of tell your story. You guys go, back, go way back. Um, you both grew up in Franklin County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, so uh, back as far as middle school, right? Yeah. Even before, although I think what we commonly retell is that I didn't necessarily notice Jerry or what she's normally the one telling this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I'm getting full of myself. She's told it so many times that I didn't necessarily notice Jerry, but she was noticing me and um, had plans. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. And and now Jerry, your story. <laughs> sure, yeah. So we were, um, I guess we really started paying attention to each other in middle school because um, we were like the only kids playing folk music in our school. So we were attending the same school. It was a private Catholic school where Nat's mom taught Spanish and um, both of us were really interested in culture and language and the arts and we were both folk musicians and we were like in fifth and sixth grade sixth or seventh grade and um so i think it was nat's mom and i'm sure my parents encouraged me to play music with nat and the teachers in our school were really great our music teacher was really great and made space in the school day or after school for us to get to know each other and to get to play music together and invite us to play at school functions and stuff and that's really at school was really the first place where we started performing together well <laughs> that, that i find that really kind of kind of funny on some level i teach middle school and uh -huh. yeah i've never taught i've never at any given year worked with two middle schoolers who both played folk music yeah <laughs> um, yeah that, that's just not the thing uh yeah <laughs> really so i i can imagine your teachers were kind of like in in their private meetings going like what are we going to do with these guys? <laughs> like, who are these people? <laughs> yeah, totally. And you, but you had, um, you had some encouragement there, which is neat. And your mom was a teacher there. Did I hear you yeah. properly? And what'd she teach? My mother taught Spanish. Okay. Um, but, but I think also it, not just encouragement, but they were, you know, actively exposing us to folk music and, and different musicians in the region and, you know, more locally, people like John Herod and Carla Gover and Mitch Barrett and, um, 
you know, we, we have a wealth of folk musicians that were in, in and around Frankfurt or that were passing through performing at house shows and things like that. Mm. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so do you know, do you get to meet John Herod early on in the game? Oh, yeah. I can't remember the first time I met John, but I feel like he's always been a part of my life. Um, I do remember one really pivotal moment when I realized how important John was in my life, and that's when he um, told my mom that I should check out Cowan Creek Mountain Music School in Letcher oh. County. And I was 12 at the time, and John, um, for those who don't know John, is an amazing um, music historian, fiddle player, storyteller, teacher. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, yeah. And so I, I had taken up guitar, and he told my mom, you know, you should really check out Cowan and tell Jerry Catherine to check out Cowan. And so I did. I went, and my life... I mean, my life completely changed forever. That cha that was one of those turning points in my life was going to Cowan Creek Mountain Music School because um, that's where I met Carla Gover, who then I did an apprenticeship with and performed with for years. And still, she's such a dear mentor and friend to me today, collaborator. That's where I met Don Rogers, who taught mm. me. A lot of the style of my guitar playing is because of Don. Um, just so many. Jesse Wells, we met Jesse Wells there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it changed my life. Hmm. Thanks, talk, John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, John. Hey, talk more about, uh, talk more about Frankfurt. Yeah. Because, you know, I find Frankfurt to be such an interesting town. Um, so uh, give people a sense of what it's like to come to Frankfurt on a fall weekend and mm. to hang out. What, what are cool. people going to do? Well, my, my first thought when we're thinking about John Herod at that time, he was still teaching at Frankfurt High School, and that was across the river, just across the river from the school that we were in at the time. Um, and I think the river really, that river valley to me encapsulates uh, Frankfurt. And when I think about the essence of Frankfurt and what it is to me, I first think about the geography and mm. this awe-inspiring landscape. What it is to me, railroad going through and the river going through um, but of course, we're the state capital as well, so we have a bunch of politicians and um, state workers commuting in and out, and that's a big uh, part of our economy. Um, but, but come visit us. I mean, there's amazing stuff to do. You can kayak on the Elkhorn or kayak on the river, take a riverboat tour of Frankfurt, eat in any of the awesome local restaurants. We're getting more and more local restaurants and oh, more you places are. to hear live music. And Yeah, it's great. We well, it's tell, great. tell people we're the epicenter of of folk is hmm. in in Frankfurt of music and music and books yeah. and pastries for yeah. instance. Broadway. <laughs> yeah, I would say Broadway and Main Street downtown are hubs of art and culture and folk music. Yeah, it's kind of like the main vein is Broadway and then you can go off on all these side streets and you might see other bands playing or happen upon an art gallery or we've got tons of murals and sculptures downtown now. Um, lot so much art, so much art downtown. It's great. Huh, nice. So check check out Broadway um, in downtown Frankfurt, and All then right. adventure off from there. All right, there's your little trip tick, folks, for uh, for your your uh, voyage to to Frankfurt on one week. And there's great there is great stuff to do there. And I'm also I'm I'm happy to hear uh, the economy is starting to, to flourish a little bit and there's some yeah. restaurants and things opening up because it felt to me like there was a long for a long time we were sort of waiting for something to happen yeah um i, I wasn't sure if i needed to just I, I was just talking to the wrong people or what but i couldn't find much to do downtown right uh except to go to the bookstore right you know where we always went and that was sufficient we would stay there for two or three hours because it was such a lovely place yeah, Poor Richards be. is amazing. Poor Richards books. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it is changing. Lots of, lots of people are investing in downtown. A lot of new young people are moving into downtown. It's really, it's exciting. Huh. Yeah. All right, so let's go back uh, to <coughs> the time. So 
you were in middle school and, and your mom had a huge, um, or Nat's mom had a huge impact on you, on both of you. And um, that sort of sparked your interest in not only folk music from this country, but also um, other places to go. Mm -hmm. And so talk a little bit about how you could maybe trace back your experience at Good Shepherd, at Good Shepherd, yep. is that right? Yeah, at Good Shepherd to some of the decisions you all made later on as young adults and adults to, to travel and see other places in the world. Sure. Well, I'll go first. <laughs> hmm. um, so I always think of Mariana, it's Nat's mom's name, as um, the first woman that I met who traveled by herself in other countries alone and or like with people she'd never met before and meeting a woman that did that so young in my life just sparked something in me like oh that is possible and I want to do that uh. <laughs> you know I saw myself in her adventure I think and so um, I was really really fortunate and privileged that I was able to travel out of the country quite a bit with my family when I was younger and I would always want to like venture off by myself and do things that weren't like touristy I wanted to like I had my video camera one time while we were in Europe and I was like wanting to interview people and get in all these corners and I just really <laughs> I was interested in the culture I was really interested in the day-to-day -day life of people living elsewhere, li living different lives. Um, and Mariana, I think, really sparked that in me in her classes. And like I said, being the first woman that I met that was really um, traveling alone as a, as a young woman. So, so yeah, it just, I got a little taste when I was young traveling. And then when I went to college, I knew that I wanted study abroad to be central to my experience. And so, um, and I loved Spanish and Latin America and I studied abroad in Mexico and Guatemala. And, um, did you study Spanish in college too? Or by the time you got to college, were you already pretty comfortable with the language? I, w I was speaking conversational Spanish when, by the time I got to college, but I studied it in school as well. I double huh. majored in Spanish and environmental studies. Huh. Those were my two passions academically. And then, <laughs> and then I just thread music through all of it. You yeah. know? Um, and then eventually we moved to Costa Rica. And the first, I remember the first time learning about Costa Rica in Nat's mom's Spanish class. And because we had because gone. Because they had family. gone. Yeah. They had gone to Costa Rica. Yeah as a family, and, I, and it was just always a place in my head that I knew I wanted to visit huh. from a slideshow in sixth grade. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, well, so what you said thank about, you for yeah. being a middle school teacher. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, what you just said about um, Marianne, sorry. Mariana. Mar about Mariana, uh, I, I just can't imagine a nicer thing that could be said about a teacher you know, then the fact that she, she opened up other worlds to you mm -hmm. and made you curious and interested in people's stories. And um, so that's pretty neat. Yeah. She's I'm, a pretty awesome person. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, yeah. I would love to meet her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking with Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton. They are uh, here on Red Barn Radio. They are a couple. They live in Franklin, Franklin County, uh, Kentucky, which is near Frankfurt. Frankfurt is in Franklin County. And uh, they're here to play music from, uh, mostly I think from their new album. Uh, and uh, we're glad to have you guys with us. We're gonna get back to more conversation with these guys uh, as the show goes on. So welcome back Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton to Red Barn Radio. This is the first song that Nat and I ever wrote together. I think Nat was 18, I was 17. We were, um, we had just left the Bria Crafts Festival, I think, and we're staying in my friend Daphne, um, Daphne and John's house. John was my first guitar teacher, Daphne, I played with Daphne for years. And they were letting us stay in their house. And before they moved into it. Before they moved into Big it. Big empty house. And there was something about that empty house 
that we were like, let's write a song. And that was upstairs and I was downstairs and we work on verses separately and then we come together and figure out the chords and the chorus and um, it all came together. All right. Ready? But he said growing up was easy Nothing good comes free my mama taught me to work hard My daddy taught me to cry There's some things you can't teach a boy There's some things you've just got to learn As they pass you by They said from here you go away, my darling Nothing's stopping you now Wrap around the ones who love you Respect the ones who don't bow now So many things that they have taught me So many things that I have learned On my own I know that I'm 18 And I don't care how I get where I'm going Just as long as I am taking a step who am I when I'm 18 and I still feel like a child? What happens when I don't make the time to see what's going on? Maybe I don't give a damn about it or I'm just scared. My friends and family are all hanging on first road trips all that's on my mind and finding freedom it felt so sweet i'm halfway home and i skipped a beat all the time i'm losing time i can't pay attention to it all the time i'm losing time i can't pay attention making up for lost time i can't pay attention to it making up for lost time 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 and i know that i'm 31 and i don't care how i get where i'm going just as long as i am taking a stand for who i am who am i when i'm 31 and i still feel like a child one two three four Sad or crazy in love, now I can sit back and dance or get wasted. Cause I'm here to talk, but I ain't getting up for you. Well, I've made up time and I'm making out of town. Cause I'm old enough to do without you. Telling, telling me what, what to do. Some people call me grumpy, some people call me wise. You can blame it on my mother, you can blame it on God, but I'll blame it on my wife. Well, I'm 89 and I'm feeling fine. I don't care what you six. I've made up my mind. I'm feeling fine. Well, I'm 89 and I'm feeling fine. I don't care what you six. I've made up my mind. I'm feeling fine. Well, I'm 89 and I'm feeling fine. I don't care what you six. I've made up my mind. But I can still change my. My. <laughs> Thank you all.
So um, Nat's going to play his song called Rise. And we're getting out the sweet guitar that Nat's uncle gifted to us as a, as a wedding gift. And it's just totally changed um, some of Nat's songwriting, but it's also changed a lot of our live performances now. We incorporate a lot of um, more electric sounds, which has been really fun. Yeah, it's changed how I accompany you and, um, and resultingly some of your songs, I guess. Yeah. How they sound. All right. This is Rise. Rise got to rise up over the hurt, over distrust. Sahiru's are you on somewhere in between the right or the wrong now fly got to fly on but these words are all weighted these words are all wrong Coming home, everything seems the same. Coming home, and the wind started to change, and my mind is to blame. Cause I've been thinking out loud for a while now, and I'm starting to see. My world is a figment of me So you've got to reach out Reach out far Beyond what you know Of who you think you are You've got to lift up You will get pulled down By the that's been leeching into Our sacred ground Got, got to give up That act that you're playing These games are contagious it just don't add up Now rise, got to rise up Over the hurt, over distrust Sahidus are you on somewhere in between the right and the wrong? I'll fly. You've got to fly on, but these words are all waiting. These words are all wrong. Rise up again, you've got to rise over, over it all. Cause this is freedom for the soul now. A little bit older, a couple seconds wiser. And then it will conspire about the way we want to change. Change is gonna come. Questions when it will. And if a change is gonna come. Start to question your own will. God to remain. Remain. Live through the pain. Cause everything, everything is gonna change. Now rise, got to rise up over the hurt, over distrust. 
So I hate loser you on somewhere in between the right and the wrong. Now fly, got to fly on towards the road waiting. And these words, and these words, were all. Thank you. All right, we've got um, an a cappella tune for you. This is a song that came to me very quickly. Sometimes songs we work on for <coughs> years, and then sometimes songs just come to us in a few hours or a few minutes. And um, <coughs> this song, Blackbirds, is one of those songs that just came to me really quickly. I still have to look <laughs> at the words because I get so caught up in the way it makes me feel <laughs> that I lose, uh, that I lose track of where I am. <laughs> so. It's all right, I do that all the time. <laughs> but uh, I first learned about um, old time how old time Appalachian ballad singing could sound at Cowan Creek Mountain Music School. And um, it just always chilled me to the bones in all the good ways, all the good ways. And um, I had told myself, you know, one day I really want to try and write a, an a cappella tune that's inspired by the way that those songs make me feel. And, and Blackbirds became that song. More birds. Yeah, more birds. I love red-winged blackbirds. They're harbingers of spring, and it was just springtime was coming on, so I think that's why the song came to me. Oh, the blackbirds are arriving. Yes, the blackbirds are arriving. I'm going on over. To watch them feed and scream To watch them feed and scream Oh, the blackbird screams so loud The blackbirds are arriving Oh, the blackbirds are arriving Yes, the blackbirds are arriving. I'm a going on over home to feel their fine black feathers. To feel their fine black feathers. I hold them in the palm of my hand. The blackbirds are arriving. A blackbird scraped my finger. Yes, it scraped my wedding band finger. And the blood drips down in puddles in my palm. The blackbirds are arriving. They drink from the puddle and fly away. Yes, they drink from the puddle and fly away. And the red wing shines so bright. The blackbirds are arriving. Oh, the blood. Of the springtime brings life. Yes, the blood of the springtime brings life. And the one thing that I know most of all 
is I'll fly. Yes, the red winged blackbird is my call. The blackbirds are arriving. Beautiful. <clears throat> Hey, before I tell you about what we have coming up next time, I want to remind you that you can watch tonight's live stream at your convenience. If you have to step away to help your kid with his homework or uh, put your kids to bed or shovel some snow or whatever may be the case, you can always come back and watch the live stream after the fact. Uh, be sure to tell your friends, too. Like last week, you may have not had an opportunity to see Davy and the Midnight's, an amazing show. You can go back there. It's all archived on Red Barn Radio's YouTube channel. Also, our live video stream is available on weku.org, the website. Click the link on the right side of their main page, and our live audio stream can be found on wgad.net as well. Don't miss a single episode, Red Barn Radio, listen to the live. And now for next week on Red Barn Radio, folks, get out all your uncut firewood. We got two of the region's finest axe slingers coming to do the show, and they're playing together. That's Lee Owen and Willie Ames. They've both been regulars on the Lexington, Kentucky music scene for, well, into a couple of decades. Lee Owen uh, with Triple Crown, Born Cross-Eyed, and most recently Wayne Graham. And Willie with the prayers, Catawampus, Club Dub, and he's an amazing solo performer, plays the blues. Longtime friends have never played music together until a chance meeting at the grocery store in the produce department led them to join together for the first time. The two guitarists have had a great time exploring a mix of classic and original jazz, blues, and country music. These two players have done more to shape the region's music vibe than any pair of players I can think of. That's next week. Two for one night, Willie and Lee on Red Barn Radio, Roots Music, Southern Style. Now let's get back to tonight's Red Barn Radio program. We come to you live on our social media platform, broadcasting from the Arts Place for Performance Hall here in the grand city of Lexington, Kentucky. And now please welcome back Jerry Catherine, Catherine Howell and Nat Colton to Red Barn Radio. I'm going to play you a song for soil. Sometimes I wonder why my crops won't grow. All of life lies under our feet in the hands of my crow. So don't you know, don't you know, we're on 90% my I plundered for to satisfy all the world rides down on our backs whipping stride by stride oh don't you hide don't you hide personhood's not your right Set 
saturation means we'll take no more Shed a tear for that soul. So this next song has a has a powerful story, I think. So aside from um, writing music and performing, <coughs> I love to to facilitate songwriting with other people, whether that's groups of people or individuals. Um, so I'm a teaching artist as well, not just in music and in other other ways too but specifically for this song um matt and i had the privilege of working with an organization which formerly was called hands healing hearts and now is called yes arts which is an arts organization that uses the power of community and community arts programming to disrupt the cycle of addiction and they partner with many different groups but one of the groups is franklin county drug court and i think in 2000 um, 16, I think the winter of 2016, <coughs> Nat and I were guest teaching artists and uh, as part of their programming with women who were um, in drug court and in the process of recovery from addiction of a variety of substances. And we worked with the women to decide what they wanted their song to communicate to people who would l hear it. And we workshopped um, some poetry they had written earlier in the session and some of their artwork. And then we had this big group brainstorm to write the verses and the chorus together. And this is the song that, um, that came of that, that process and that project. It was a multi-day project. And this song is called Bent But Not Broken. And it's written in collaboration with women in the Franklin County Drug Court program. Could be anyone among you who is bent but not broken through, lost alone and can't find a home. I'm addicted and I don't belong. And I don't belong. Well, honestly, I want to be honest with you. Because if life went differently, 
could have been here too. Oh, honesty, it aches through and through. We're on that road to recovery, and the road it goes on. childhood but now I'm on trial I can't do this on my own winding back again and again to the crossroads to the crossroads I just wanted to be honest with you Cause if life went differently You could have been here too Oh, honesty, it aches through and through We're on that road to recovery And the road it goes on Defined by that stuff in a cup, been holding it in just to fill it Thank you. Hmm. Could you pass me that water? Your water? This water? Oh, yeah. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, there's an ongoing battle. I was going to say theme, but <laughs> battle makes it sound a little harsh. Matt's always drinking my water. It is a battle. I always tell him he needs to take care of himself. <laughs> It's true. A battle it is. <laughs> so this next song is called Devil's Hollow. It is on our album that we just released. And um, can I dedicate this song? Of course. Okay, we're going to dedicate this song to Henry and Estella, who um, are, I think, maybe like seven or eight and ten or eleven years old. And they come to all of our shows, and they love this song. This is their favorite song. And I think it's maybe because their parents 
particularly their mom, who I know better, takes them out exploring Kentucky's um, forests and fields and waterways. And this song is greatly inspired by, by that in Franklin County specifically. It's a beautiful area of Franklin County that the song is about. Um, Devil's Hollow and the Devil's Backbone and well you'll hear it. I think you'll feel it too. I think you feel it. Yeah. Yeah this is the first song that I've I've written um, you know earlier I mentioned that most of the songs that I write, and I would say up until this point, essentially all the songs that I've written have been, all the ones that I share with people, um, have been songs that are a reflection of my own emotions or thoughts or whatever. But this is the first song that I very intentionally wrote about someone else's story. So this is also a song for Terry Sutton and all the people that have lived out that way. Still not real pleased with that. You play the G. Gonna have to get a new snark. Yeah. Or two. Steamed oak devil's hollow Limestone bedrock sleep will follow Got all the keys real early tomorrow Is that the Louisville train's coming through Not far down that old sidetrack past Red bridge and the devil's backbone Cold water runs down the neck Of that man who works down the road still falls after all this stream was carved but not by God in a little slice of heaven supper time call the last train step in single file we'd eat first but they'd not mind for a warm meal in the summer tracks bell ring that bell ring that bell now they only the city streets ridiculed by the way to eat some still down Benson Creek like a fish dammed out of water.
Beautiful tune. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, We're with, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that yeah. there's, there's always a trade off with closing your eyes when you play music. And it's nice to escape sometimes, but then you get lost in there. <laughs> don't know where you're going to end up. <laughs> or totally forget the lyrics. Somewhere down the creek. Somewhere down that creek. Well, sometimes when you get lost <laughs> in the song, right, it, it can, you can make for some real beautiful moments, too. So. True. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's your moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was beautiful. Um, you, you guys have done uh, so much traveling. You, you went to Ecuador in 2015. Um, in 2017, uh, Jerry, you got a, a Fulbright program fellowship to teach English in Costa Rica. Talk to us about that experience for you. Sure. So yeah. it was four years ago. Gosh, yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, seem more recent? Yes. Does it? Yeah. And we're just now getting to go back. Feels like feels like it was last year um, in many ways, and it also feels like it was 10 years ago. But um, so when I graduated college, I, or as I was about to graduate college, I knew that I knew that I always wanted to come back to Central Kentucky and really root in community, and um, but that I wanted to live in another country before I came back and did that. And that I really, I didn't wanna just go and travel, I really wanted to live in a place mm -hmm. that was new and familiar, unfamiliar to me and I didn't, that I, where a place I didn't know anyone. And um, really cement another language in my brain and um, just have this new experience and build new relationships. And that's exactly what we did, Matt, is Matt said, yes, I'll go with you. And then that, that for me, that was the moment I was like, okay, I can spend the rest of my life with this person <laughs> who's up for like just moving. But you, were, but you were going there so that you would be without anyone you knew. <laughs> That's then, true. Right. That's true. Um, but we, I mean, we were together when I applied and it was always in my head like, I would love to share this adventure. Uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, True, yeah, true, but... Well, I, and I would argue that in many ways it was still your own independent adventure, and in fact, I went to Nicaragua to, to study Spanish for a month right off the bat, or pretty early on, and so... Yeah, and I was, was teaching in schools all the time, and he cement was... Cement her community, and I was making a new community in another country, and... Yeah. Um, in a yeah. lot of ways, we did our own things as well. Yeah, cool. But um, what was called an English teaching assistantship really ended up being just um, sharing our cultures and our stories. And I, I played music a lot and I shared traditional dance a lot, like flat footing and clogging. Um, and we used, we used music and the arts as a way to connect and learn language and learn culture and um, that was not something that I expected at all going in to that experience. It was just how central music and dance was gonna be to that. And that was really, I mean, that was really important to me. When I came, and when I came back, I was so, when we came back to Frankfurt, or when we came back to Central Kentucky, I was looking for work to do. I knew that I wanted to find where my skills and passions intersected with what the community needed at that mm. time. And <clears throat> I started working with arts organizations. And when I was in college, mm. like, I never thought I would be working with arts organizations. It sounds ridiculous that I'm saying that uh -huh. right now, but um, that's just what happened. And now I'm 
working at a sculpture park. I'm the program director at Josephine Sculpture Park and I'm bringing in all different kinds of arts and the environment and different cultures and um, yeah. A and I think that that experience in Costa Rica where the music and the arts were so central to that experience, it just solidified to me, you can do this for your life. Like this can be your life. The arts can mm -hmm. be your life. And, and that's <clears throat> great and it's needed and it's good. I think before that for some reason I just had this kind of like divide in my brain that I had my arts life and music life and my academic life and they were separate. But then they combined. Would you say <laughs> would you say it was in Costa Rica then that you sort of sort of piloted some of the some of your first workshops in in sort of melding arts with storytelling and whatnot is definitely that first happened there definitely I mean it wasn't the very first time but it was it was the time where I got really comfortable with it and it started being really fun and when I realized how important it was hmm. yeah wow. And the sculpture park you work, I'm kind of curious to know about that. Is that some place where we should visit? Please, yes. It's Kentucky's only sculpture park, so you've got to come. It's in Frankfort, Kentucky. And it's um, in Franklin County, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a sculpture park. So it's 30 acres of over 80 public art installations. Oh, wow. And almost all the sculptures you can are interactive in some way. You can touch, climb, spin. One of them you can paint on. Um, and we're also, you know, our mission is to connect people with each other and the land through the arts. And so we're all about getting folks outside, interacting with different people and with nature. And that the arts is that like imaginative vehicle to explore hmm. community and nature through. So. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. It's like the best job ever. <laughs> uh, sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I pinch myself every day that that's my job. So I do that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it was, well, I think it's so interesting to hear uh, about the way that both of you are committed to being agents of change in your communities and in the world. Um, I, I'd like for you to talk a little bit more about sort of what you learn when you step away from yourself and you do that kind of thing and really give yourself to that work and and maybe also if you wouldn't mind talking about some of the sort of hard lessons that you've learned in your experiences um, traveling working with kids um, working with um, you know folks who suffer from uh, the disease of addiction what are some of the what are some, have been some of the challenges for you all emotionally doing that really challenging work? Do you want to share yeah, Well, I, I think the easy first thing that comes to my mind is privilege and um, how fortunate I am, how fortunate we both are in a lot of ways. Um, but perspective, I, traveling mm -hmm. and traveling to me, and being vulnerable in a in a, a culture in a uh, place where where I'm a minority and um, <clears throat> don't know many things and don't speak the language very well, taught me a lot about my own place and my own country and my own community, and then also highlighted a lot of the same experiences that can be obtained in our own communities and just around the corner. Um, you just have to put yourself out there and there there's a world of opportunity all around us all the time whether that's interacting with the natural world or with with humans and um, I guess I'm rambling now but to me that that all of these experiences this culmination of experiences of traveling and playing music and um, meeting new people from other places and has just opened up a world of opportunity for me and um, curiosity that mm. is hard to hard to suppress so I think that something that really sticks out to me is the challenge and the ult the just gift of listening to people and 
giving that, you know, listening to, to anyone share their story and t- to be able to have someone trust you enough to share their story with you mm. and for me to be able to just listen. Those are like the biggest blessings that I feel like I experience in my life as an artist and as a teacher. And it's, it can be really uh, challenging because it is such a vulnerable space for both people, I think. But it's like, that's what life is about to me. <laughs> like That's what it's all about, is really um, listening to each other and connecting to each other. And um, yeah, being there for one another. So we're really grateful to have the opportunity to, to be up here and for you all to listen to our stories and um, to have this opportunity to be vulnerable with you despite any little mistakes we might make. Um, it's a really amazing opportunity. And yeah, thank you. So we're, we're appreciative of it. Well, you are welcome. Thank you uh, from all of us and from all of our listeners who I know are enjoying the program, enjoying hearing you sing and talk. And, you know, if, if, um, if you'd like to know more about Jerry Catherine and Nat, there's there's stuff online. Uh, Jerry Catherine has a website, and you can learn about all the different places she's traveled and the different workshops she does and the different work that she does in her community. Um, but you can really learn just as much about them by, um, by listening to their music and the songs and the stories they tell in, in their songs. Uh, they're very personal and, uh, and really rich, and we're very thankful that you all were able to be with us on Red Barn Radio. Uh, there's more music to come, though. This is not a way of saying goodbye. This is a way of uh, reintroducing our guests. They've got a, a few more tunes to play for us before we see them on. And um, let's welcome back Jerry Catherine Howell and her partner, Nat, to Red Barn Radio. Thank you. All right, I'm going to do a song in Spanish. This is a song that I wrote um, inspired by women that I um, spoke with in Guatemala. So the, there was a civil war in Guatemala, which was um, effectively a genocide of an indigenous indigenous peoples in Guatemala. and. Um, the women that this story or that this song is inspired by were were women who kept their culture alive through weaving because um, if you spoke out about your culture you were um, you were putting yourself in danger if you were very vocal about um, if you opposed the civil war if you were really vocal about your culture if you were teaching people about it but weaving was a silent form of resistance that was very powerful and um, this song is inspired by the stories that those women shared with us and I I normally would not write a song about something so sensitive and something so different from my own experience but one thing that they told us that that I really took from from speaking to them is they said tell this story tell everyone you know tell this story so that it doesn't happen to them so um, this is one of the ways that I'm telling that story the song is called Segiran as in they will persevere they will continue su piel, deja arriba, abajo a través de las venas que llegan dentro de su corazón, seguirá llevándolo, seguirá llevándolo, el peso de sus lágrimas, el peso de sus almas, seguirá llevándolo, seguirá llevándolo. 
rojo, negro, amarillo. Mientras ellos duermen, deja hasta la madrugada y oye los gritos clandestinos. Mientras ellos tiran, seguirá llevándolo, seguirá llevándolo. El peso de sus lágrimas, el peso de sus almas, seguirá llevándolo, seguirá llevándolo. Blanco, verde, anaranjado Y sobreviven reencarnadas Iluminan la oscuridad La oscuridad Y sobreviven reencarnadas En las hilos de la creatividad Seguir Seguirán, seguirán llevándola, seguirán llevándola. La resistencia, la esperanza, la paz del futuro. Seguirán llevándola, seguirán llevándola. La comunidad sobre los hombros. string my e <coughs> string yes please yeah yeah okay thank you all right this next song is called woman and this is probably this is one of the most recent songs that I've written. It's not on the album. Um, it will be on some album in the future. And I had a dear friend, a fellow singer-songwriter, Jasmine Fouts, ask me, uh, what do you notice that's different? Like, when you look back on the past five, ten years, what's, what do you, what's different about you? And I think that it is that I'm moving towards joy and things that really make me happy and bring me joy and bring me pleasure in my life and I hope that for everyone and that's what this song is about even though it's called woman it's really it's my experience being a woman but it's really for everybody ready yes I don't want to spend my life living in cages I don't want to spend my life telling myself I can't other women do it so why can't I live my life live my life just as I want well touch now feeling the electric inside me Side to side, moving with my body Break it down, you might get to know me Cause I'm moving with my body And I don't recognize these hands attached to my body Life gets weird living up in my head I'm a good woman And how do I know, how do I know That I'm a good me Well touch now Feeling the electric inside me Side to side Moving with my body Break it down You might get to know me
love in lace and wildflowers leave them on your porch in the moonlight and wake up sweet woman your time has come to walk out that door walk out that door and claim your love will touch now feeling the electric inside me side to side moving with my body break it down you might get to know me Ooh, i'm moving with my body 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 My body. I don't recognize these hands attached to me, so I wrap my love in lace and wildflowers and walk out that door, walk out that door and claim my love. <laughs> Thank you. You ready, Nat? All right. It's a song. Um, used to call it B flat. I wrote it in high school, and I don't know why I call it. I don't remember why I used to call it that, but um, <laughs> it's one that Jerry and I used to play together some um, in a band that we had called the Metaphors for a time. Um, and then we pulled it out for fun for our CD release party and then I wrote a little bridge for it recently and it's been really it's, we've been having fun with it so it's stuck black hole empty as an ocean my big black hole in the bottom of your shoe Jesus knows I could eat straight do your soul but only Jesus can walk on water cause it soaks through your big black hole if you want me I'm a big black hole I'm a drug to your being Yeah, you can hit me once or twice But trust me, I will survive Can hit it in the morning You can hit it at night But take me in the afternoon And I'll be your heart's delight if you want me, you can have me. If you want me, you can have me. If you want me, you can have me. And if you 
want me, you can have me all the time. I'm a big black hole up and out of space. Maybe you're an astronaut trying to get down into mine. Oh, in any other case, it should have been a crime. Cause when it comes to big black holes like me, you can have me all the time. Si la mente es un calabozo con un anillo de oro, digan tus despedidas y bailen solitas hasta las puertas se abran. If you want me, you can have me. If you want me, you can have me. If you want me, you can have me. And if you want me, you can have me all the time. And if you want me, you can have me all the time. And if you want me. Well, there are so many people to thank for our program. Uh, first and foremost, Jerry, Catherine Howell, and Nat Colton, our guests this evening. We also thank our volunteers and staff who make our production happen so beautifully each week. Thank you all for listening to our webcast, watching us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, and those listening to us on the network of Red Barn stations and media worldwide. Thanks to WEKU, Red Barn's premier radio partner, NPR for Central and Eastern Kentucky. Listen online at weku.org. It's your chance to hear more great live music from Red Barn Radio and WEKU. Those of you here in the Central Kentucky area, be sure to check out Red Barn TV, our weekly program of music, now on ABC 36 WTVQ. Red Barn Radio comes to you from our home, the Arts Place Performance Hall in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. Our website has updates and further information on our program. We're on the web at redbarnradio.com. And now please welcome back Jerry Catherine Howell and Nat Colton to the Red Barn stage to give us one more tune. Thank you all so much. This has been amazing. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, we hope you're doing well. We wish you the best. Thanks for listening to our music. And um, we hope to cross paths with you one day. We'll just assume we will, because if we don't, we'll never know. <laughs> and please visit us in, in Frankfort, Kentucky. Check out the Josephine Sculpture Park. <laughs> All Are right, good? here we go. Here's healers and drinkers. Mm. Hope y'all have a great time. Almost said night. Great time. It is night time here. <laughs> One, two, three, go, two, three. I come from a family of risk takers and dreamers, a well-worn path to our home. I come from a family of healers and drinkers with an aversion to being alone. That's where I rise, that's where I fall. That's where I pick up the pieces of it all That's where I lean into the wind And if you just watch me, I'll come back this weekend That's where I rise That's where I fall My friends love me with careful 
abandon and laugh, dance, fall, run, and move on. They take me places I've never known, hold space that still feels like home. That's where I rise, that's where I fall, that's where I pick, pick up, up the pieces of it all. That's where I scream into the night and shout of silence we thought we put behind. That's where I rise. Anticipate the sounds of boots on the front steps. Can't wait to be with them. Can't, Can't wait, wait to be alone again. That's where I rise. That's where I fall. That's where I pick up the pieces of it all. That's where I whisper goodnight. I love you and I can't imagine life without you. That's where I rise. Thanks. Well, that's all for our show for this week. You can hear Red Barn Radio worldwide as we stream live on the web on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. You can view mountains of video on the Red Barn Radio YouTube channel, but don't uh, go watching while you're driving. Tune in to Spotify and iTunes if you want to check out archived uh, performances, and we have a wide array of them there for you. Be sure to check out our social media for updates to our upcoming schedules and more information on our program. And remember, every like, comment, share, and subscribe helps bring Roots Music Southern Style to your neck of the woods. And finally this, if any of our featured artists are performing in your area and you are mobile, get out and hear them. Live music, bumper stickers should be issued. From all of us here at Red Barn Radio to all of our friends worldwide, it is our hope that you have a great week. Keep working together to be safe and healthy. And until next time, good night from Red Barn Radio. Yeah.